Alright, I've got not I've got some not gonna lie, pretty sad news. Also not so sad news. But I'll tell by the title. But um in other words, uh, this is the end of this season. Yeah. That was hard for me to say because not gonna lie, this has been my favourite season of everything so far. But there is one thing that I've got okay, the lag on here is mad. Um looks like that before I end the season and you know put the world download up I'm gonna have to actually you know put up um things like a uh what do you call it chunk delete some chunks that we've explored and things but yeah as you can see so right now uh season six has started about a week ago from today but you wouldn't have seen that yet and Jesus I'm gonna have to send my my renditions down because the thing is the world is that big that it causes lag. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's trident killers because we'd have a pretty big amount of these on the server. So I'm just gonna have to turn my render distance down a little bit. Yeah, uh, 24 drunks left to do. But yeah, this is much smoother now. Um, actually, just I just need to get, add on my FPS checker. Just give me a minute, just so you know. I know my lag's dealing with. It seems like a live stream because I'm not going to be taking breaks, but yeah, you can't see me FPS, but I can. And it is this world needs we need to cut some chunks off. But yeah, the the reason of this is well, I mean I just said it, the lag. I, okay, I'm gonna have to render this out even further, you know. Right, so it's not like anything to do with uh, my side of the things, you know. You get what I mean? It's nothing to do with me. This is just the, the size of the server causes excessive amounts of lag. So that is mainly why we changed it, but uh, don't worry, I am going to do the odd thing because you stop the lag. Well, when you download it, because you understand that um, I've got a pretty, you know, big computer. Well, not big, but, you know, beefy. 32 gigabytes of RAM. Most of you probably don't know what that means. But, yeah, that's it. Um, so then, yeah, let's just uh, cut all the small talk. Uh, we've got a few mods on here, uh, which will be available to download. And over there, you can see the 3D sun zone. Yeah, if you've watched the season itself, then you'll know what most of this stuff is. But yeah, just I'm gonna take you on a nice long tour of Realmcraft. So I just realised this is gonna be about an hour long, probably might might be less, but I'm not sure. But it's gonna be a long time, and I don't want my recording stopping in the middle of it. So I'm gonna make one little cut so I can uh, go and make some space on my computer, um, and then that will be uh, well everything really. I'm gonna do that. Then we're gonna be on it. I'm gonna be ready to record for as long as we want, because uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you a bit of stuff in a minute. But yeah, before my computer gets full, I'm gonna yeah, fix some things. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back. I deleted about 10 gigabytes of videos, and also just to add, whilst I'm doing this, it might seem a little bit more laggy. Obviously, I'm gonna do that, aren't I? Because uh, I'm about I'm transferring my captures file onto my hard drive. But yeah, you don't, you don't need to know that, do you? That's just boring. But we're going to get on with this world tour. So let's start off with the starter base. And no, I don't mean this. Uh, I'm talking about uh, something that's just about down here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if I can find it. This will be embarrassing. As if I cannot find this. Alright, I found something. I'm guessing this is what it is. This is just a chest of junk. And this is... Yep, I'd like to announce what this is here. This here is so basically at the beginning of the season. In case you don't know, the Nether is pretty right next to a bastion on the little Nether area that we've got going on. It's right next to a bastion, and uh, yeah, this is the first time in the beginning of the season. I never wanted to wear them because you know they were incredibly valuable at the beginning of the season, but they're completely useless now, obviously. So, uh, I just decided to keep him in that chest, and I never bothered to take him out. Um, because obviously went end raiding and things like that. But these are the most valuable things to me in the server. These things. The first thing, first wooden tools I've ever crafted are right there. My sword, my pick, my axe, and my shovel. It's all there. So that is, uh, incredible. Like, uh, how the, they've managed to stay there the whole season. So then, yeah, next we're going to move on to this here. This is going to be, yeah, I'm going to go into full detail with this, unlike the last um, couple of them. Yeah, this is pretty much empty now. 
But what you'd do, uh, hang on, I did clean up my base luckily a few episodes ago. Uh, so then I can't, <laughs> I cleaned it up that much that I can't even get up there. Right, I'm gonna place that back, you know, I don't want base ended up being messy again. Like it always is. Um, so let's just build up here. And then yeah, what you'd basically do, so I don't know how that went missing, but never mind. So you'd fill this up with oatmeal, and you'd turn on this redstone clock, and it would power all these dispensers, which would uh, dispense out a ton of flowers. We did that for the flower shop, for the dye shop, but uh, we've got enough for the whole season now. So next, we're gonna move on to my cactus farm. Uh, this was gonna be extended into you know sugarcane farm. It's broken at the moment, and never even made that tutorial on how to build it. But yeah, if we need any cactus, it's all right here. Um, and then next we have this here, which is my, um, what is now a seed farm, but it, I've actually made this quite recently, to be honest. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just nip down here and grab some, this is also a fairly recent thing I've made, might as well show you what's in here, is a storage system. So basically how I did this is, so say I have a load of drink in my inventory, so I've had a storage problem the whole season, so then say so this happened, right, so then I had some seed pickles on me, I'd put, I'd just get this out, Put it on a lighting frame and put them all in there. And I keep doing that until it gets full. So I found this, you know, incredibly useful. You know, I've got loads of stuff in here. So if you do want to treat yourself to any items, this is the place to go. Um, and then this is the, you know, just a storage system really. But what I'm here for is to go to my agriculture chest. <laughs> agriculture chest. And then yeah, I've got a carrot here. This is we're making potions for the war, which you never got to do. Uh, so yeah, um, basically, I'm just going to go and put this over here. So yeah, anyway, I'm just going to go over here, and then I'm just going to do that. Then we do that, and then, and then as you can see, it's quite hard for me to catch this, but you know, I place it down and it bone meals it. Simple as that, really. And then I think the water's been took or something I'm not sure but um now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put everything away so then I can pick up whatever I want because this is what a storage system is for so then I'm gonna put that in there then there's actually another thing so I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not but I did a st want to start a challenge ready for episode 18 but episode 18 changed and is now a world tour so basically uh, what what I was gonna do is do a little mining challenge where I get a ton of things, um, like well, diamond ore, and but and then once I've got a thousand diamond ore, I'm going to mine them all down. So that was going to be an exciting thing of the season, but obviously it's not been anymore. So I'm going to go and get do that in the chopping district in a minute. But yeah, this is the next thing I want to show you. My original, you know, star base. So the, I didn't do the science terracotta world. Someone treated me to that. I didn't ask him to. They just did it. Uh, but yeah, this little thing here, made on the very first episode, and then if you come in here, so basically, I went, I went, you know, defeated the end of the dragon, things like that, so I didn't need this junk anymore, but if you look at this now, that pickaxe is, was all on his last legs, and I mean, I'm lucky that I managed to even get that, like on season 6, so spoiler alert, um, yes, we have a defeat the end of dragon episode 1, uh, and, uh, basically, uh, I've only got my chest plate and my leggings, so this is pretty good. Um, so yeah, if we just pop back down here, we can then uh, go over to the next building, which is, after we kill this stupid creeper, uh, is this little thing here. This is my golden bomb. My thing that I made on episode 4, then I upgraded when a new one came out, uh, and uh, I've got some Fletchers here as well. Not Fletchers, uh, Clerics. But yeah, this is probably causing most of the lag, so we turn that off. Cause this this is what causes the lag, like I said. So then you know I'm going to pick up this trident because yeah, he needs it. Yeah. By the way, the reason that I did just you know expand out all that beef into my inventory so I don't pick it up because that's what I'm used to doing. You see. So yeah. Now I'm going to head back down here. So what it does is all your items in here, which this would be piglin heads, which they've randomly gotten. Not sure where. Yeah. And then what else is down here? If we just dig down a bit. We have some gold, then up here we have a bit more gold, and then some a lot more gold, and a bunch of rotten flesh. And whatever's left just gets thrown into that lava over there. So, you know, 
Uh, that is amazing. Um, but yeah, over here just a lot of, of a lot of junk really. So then if we pop back up here, uh, we'll get up to the top. This is my failure of a mob farm. I did that so when I was okay at my gold farm, I could get a gunpowder as well. But it was an epic failure because for some reason it just didn't work. Probably because of all the big ones spawning. But yeah, we're going to move on to the next area, which is the shopping districts, a place where I've spent most of my time at. And I've just realised now, I don't have any, um, oh great, I don't have any, so, okay, let's move on to here first. This is my villager room. Basically, at the start of the season, I got some villagers, which is the same as season 6, another little spoiler alert. And, uh, I'm just gonna get, I made most of my money off getting people maxed out gear by doing this. Um, so yeah, as you can see, these have all got, uh, trades here, not all of them have uh, got signs on them. But yeah. Uh, basically, all of these uh, villagers here are used to make maxed out gear. So, you know, uh, I did pay someone to do it about two months ago, and they only just finished it before the end of the season. Not even finished it, actually. Uh, so, you know, that's not the best of things which could have happened. So, uh, actually, just before I, you know, head on to the drop on the streets, I'm going to have to make some fireworks. But yeah, we'll pop over to a couple of old places. Uh, yeah, by the way, I added a mod where you can do that. So, you know, that's pretty OP. So then, yeah, we've got 45 works we should do for now. So then, oh wait, actually. Oh, this is probably what's caused a bit more lag. Uh, I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, as you can see, I spent the whole season just, you know, cleaning up my base, and then I decided to go and destroy it when I need a couple of blocks. Yeah, that's not good. Oh wait, oh, okay. It is already shut off. That's good. Because, yeah, you just, you just place a block in it to shut it down. But some, someone's already done that, luckily, before the season ended, so that's a good thing. Another thing I'd never got around to doing, which, you know, uh, that I'd like to do for you guys, you know, when you get this world download, there's always incomplete uh, projects in every single season that we do. N not really season three, because that's when I was, you know, finding how good it was at the game. So, but yeah, to take down this whole mountain here, well, not exactly mountain, but this whole area, and flatten it all out with grass. But yeah, let's just go on to the next area. Oh, an empty chest. I don't even know what this building is. I think someone's just trying to recreate my base. Oh yeah, actually, a little another thing. Uh, I made this year, this season. I am the the richest I've ever been in a Minecraft world. Basically, I am the king of shops. I created a new business called Money Enterprises this season, and it has made me a ton of diamonds. We almost hit two stacks of diamond blocks. Just so close to it. So that is unfortunate we didn't hit it. But we have gone very, very far. Um, and I'll tell you where I got most of my diamonds from near the end of the world tour. So yeah, this is just where we, you know, this is at Christmas. We all just sat here, had a little, well, not, obviously not at Christmas, you know, New Year time, kind of. This is the little cooker we got here. But yeah, this is all we need to see for this area. Yeah, uh, and over here, I forgot to say, is my amazing iron bomb. This is a very last minute thing made in episode 17. And... It is insane. We've got a ton of iron from it, and of course you guys can get a ton of iron from it too. When in the world download, even though you don't need it because you know most of it's already out. But if we head over here, we have my favourite place, the one that I'll never be able to part with in season six, that I'm already missing in season six, and that I'm already wanting to go back to in season six, the shopping district. The map of the shopping district. Uh, that some that be, this really annoys me when people do this. That's why people do it. But yeah, the shopping district, the um my favorite thing of the whole season, and the buggy portals that Minecraft a bug added, and then uh, obsidian which people have bought. So there's not much else for me to say apart from this beacon here, which I made and funded. Um, and second of all, once again, where we get most of our diamonds from before the Secret Santa took it over. Um, so, what this basically- I mean, game that never happened over there, by the way. So, th what this was, is basically, uh, I'm not sure if you remember or not, but way, way back in Season 2. I don't even have any records of that world. I only have the videos I made from it, which are incredibly valuable to me. Like, when I was deleting files before, I found an actual video, before I even made videos on Season 4. Like, Exploding to Episode 1, it was called. And honestly, that was uh, OG. OG, if you know what season two is. Um, 
but yeah so basically i had this little shop there were shulker boxes in it with uh, loads of random loot you paid a diamond block for them and you replaced them over this is what this was but there was much better loot in the boxes so i charged three diamond blocks and let's just say somebody got addicted to it and spent about 21 diamond blocks there maybe not maybe 15 or something but yeah the episode 13 you'll see it i feel really bad for him so if you're watching this uh ross Bank, i'm so sorry for you that you spent all your diamonds on that uh, yeah uh, that wasn't really the best of times for him probably not his most favorite memory so <laughs> yeah not your favorite memory mate i know that now that over here we have my uh, tree growing area for the tree shop which you've recently made again so that's not much to say apart from a tree shop and then over here we have the rsm building a building which i built all by myself with little help i did get some though you know we a few resources gathered a bit of help with the front bit but i designed the whole thing myself and built most of it but yeah this is one of my favorite things of the season not gonna lie so um yeah it is amazing the next we're going to move on to a few of my shops during this area so first of all we've got the head shop which was probably going to be pretty useful as you can see we've got quite a few heads collected in our time oh right i know why the okay some sad news oh no that's bad <laughs> the head mod seems to have glitched out on worlds so all the heads have been deleted so unfortunately the heads mod ain't working that's great that means all heads apart from mini blocks have been deleted well this isn't the best thing that's happened in the world <laughs> but um oh well it's the end of the season who cares uh, the potion shop never got to finish it uh, and we've got an absolute ton of ice from it and the, the secret that we did to do this we never actually told anyone but basically it's a load of blue ice on the road here for christmas and we never finished it so we decided to take it down because it didn't really match and then we converted it all into normal ice we got an absolute ton of it and yeah there's a, a ton of bits in there so yeah not much to say just a potion shop my iron shop over here this is always stocked out which is pretty funny uh, it still is now to be honest but yeah all the iron you know you know where to find that over in my storage system i just saw me put it but yeah everything is here you know there's a few of the shops and okay let me go on to my first shop of the season you might recognize this in some way you're probably thinking hmm where do i remember that from oh, look at that. oh it's a load of random shoulder boxes here yeah um i don't know who left out this junk here but never mind so over here i want you to enterprise bookshop the oldest shop of the whole season so there's money in practice pass it's got me 15 diamond blocks 18 actually i think because someone else bought one the other day that's the 27 diamonds from before but basically the money in price pass was everything is half price a free xp at the xp store which is that building over there i'll show you and 64 fireworks for joining and a free place in me money which is just last episode we made that but yeah basically you know a load of books in here hold for that yeah actually made some diamonds off of it so yeah this is just pretty much it for my bookshop just a shop selling books the first one of the season and the most effort of the season hitting villagers i'm just going to be uh, brought back into the next season and the other little issue a little stuff brought a little spreadsheet as well with all of the uh, books enchantments from it i made it for season six but why not use it for your own world because <laughs> i am doing quite well on that on season six with villagers so yeah over here you know the die shop that i was talking about before i don't really want to go through every single shop because uh you know it's just it's just a shop but there is uh you know fireworks here not stuck them up since when we got the 20 diamonds last episode and elytra uh not sold yet gas tears gravel leather rotten flesh that not a single person has bought this for the entire season just must, almost bare rotten flesh and never even needed Wait, I sold that. I got a diamond from that. I forgot about that. I got one sale from it for the whole season. So yeah, if you ever make a server like this, don't sell rotten flesh. It's a waste of your time. I didn't. At least I didn't grind for it. That is a positive. I just AFK'd. That was mainly for the gold. But yeah, over here, welcome to Emmy. This is the Emmy tree. It's semi custom because basically, uh, so we did a little trade with someone just as you know, a joke. Um, and basically, 
uh, he said, if you give me some leather, I'll give you a sapling. And I thought, a bit of leather, I've got a shulker box of it, who cares? So then I decided to do it, and then I made my own little custom tree. And by custom tree, I mean I grew the sapling, then edited it a little bit. Make it look a little bit more neat, you could say. But as you can see, it just looks so flat. Okay, my hoe is too OP. So we're going to have to, you know, jump up here. And do it ourselves, it looks like. So, yeah, this is it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do that one little leaf over there. But, yeah. Here we go. Emmy, money, you collect all your shop profits. Read this if you want. We did it last episode. All the members signed up for it. And I'll tell you where the vault is. It's incredibly secure. It's in here. <laughs> this is just straight up funny how, like, the, uh, how literally, like, the whole time, you know, uh, I'm saying super secure vault. No one can get into it. It's behind the wall. So, yeah. Little confession made from last episode. And then, I never got to finish this thing. So, once again, I know the challenge to you guys. Finish my skyscraper. Build floors, like I said, 10 blocks up from each of them. And, yeah. Don't forget, you get access to anything you want. So, yeah. It's your choice, and I'd love to see what you want. My Twitter is um, in chat. Uh, th this is, like, the name of it. And then... You know, Twitter is all glitchy in it, so that is what it is. Then that's my, uh, you know, tagging thing. This is the RSM shop. That's pretty much sums it up. It's just a shop which sells a lot of random junk. And the famous phrase of the season was, uh, "Do you want to buy some junk?" Which is something I always said, because you know, just some junk in that's when you think that mayo diamonds. They weren't even my personal use as well. And speaking of personal use, I haven't spent all of my shop diamonds on personal use yet. Not once, not at all. But yeah, I'm just going to fly over straight to my moon. One of the places where I AFK'd a lot. And also, here is a little thing from uh, when the war early started. You know, this is as far as we got. You know, this little thing here. It's pretty small. Yet yeah, not that big. So then, if I just go into here, and then, I hope that I've got some gunpowder. Never mind, I've only got one. I just hope I've got some in here. Yeah, this has been here, like, the whole time. And then, also got the pumpkin farm up there. I meant to do more in here, but I never got the chance. Yeah, okay, I've got no gunpowder at all, so. So much for my whole life on the server. Okay, I've got little in there. I'm literally scrambling around for gunpowder at the moment, but. Yeah, there's a bit of simple, you know, sh uh, pumpkin farm up there. Never really bothered with it. So, I'm pretty sure that that's it for the shopping districts. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. The shopping districts have done my base for my moon. And the next thing that I could do is for me to go over to my barroom farm. I honestly thought this was going to be, you know, I thought it was going to take a much longer than this, you know. Like, this, this has only been going on for like 20 minutes. But, oh yeah, I've got to say. Uh, this is the nether hub. Absolutely terrible. I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we won Sultan Valley, the worst possible biome to spawn in for it. But yeah, I'm still kind of debating, you know. What, what season is my favourite? Season 5 or season 4? I don't even know. Like, it wouldn't be season 3 or, or 2 or 1. Because, well, first of all, you don't know anything about season 1. I completely forgot myself. Season 2, that was in creative mode. Season 3, I was only just getting good at the game. Season 4, I managed to... I was getting... This is what, when my real progress showed. First time we got maxed out gear, I thought it was impossible. But it turns out, it's not. So Season 4 is pretty special to me. Season 5, when I got a lot of progress done on things like that. But yeah, anyway, let's stop talking about my uh, sob story. Not really though, but you know. Um, as you can see, I've got a piglin bar and bomb. Uh, all the stuff from it despawns because I filled the chests. So, if you ever need any stuff that's in these chests, then all you gotta do is go to the coordinates, which you can see. Oh, look at that, I got a piglin. Lots of them, it looks like. It's not good. But yeah, there's, there's absolutely tons of stuff in here, so if you really want to treat yourself with some good loot, then just go there. But yeah, there's not really much else for me to show you in the world. And I'm not showing you my with skeleton bomb, I already said that, but you know. The Booth Skeleton Farm is forbidden, and it's not going to be known about. Um, because, yeah, I just, uh, you know, mm, that was not people see the Booth Skeleton Farm. Because it's, you know, it's like, it just took me, like, 
hours to make them. Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go through my ender chest, and I'm gonna sort out some of the, you know, the things that I have in my ender chest, like my ores and things, that I want to empty out. Okay, let's I get out my ender chest, then, yeah, as you can see, I've got my, I'm gonna do it on my base, actually, because, you know, that is a little bit better of a place, apart from in the nether, which I definitely want any memories of again in my life. But yeah, that's it, I should show you first. Uh, the end. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me of the end of season 4. I actually forgot about this until now. But, oh, this is just like, I've got a little touch in my heart when I think about this, because, like I said, season 4 is probably my favourite season. Or season 5, I don't know. I think it's just like, season 4 had a bit more of a, you know, I had a, I had a bit more of a connection with that, but season 5 was still a lot of progress, you know. I've done things I've never done before in season 5, but... Um, the thing is with season four, like that just I just loved that season. Like season four is probably my favourite season. But you know, we do have to move on sometimes. But yeah, like I say, many times season four is my favourite season because yeah, like what in case you don't remember, season three, unfortunately I didn't get it on camera. But um so one of our members called Joe, he basically he was uh, helping me get my stuff back in season three because I died whilst I was and Raiden. and uh yeah so yeah i died whilst then draining and it wasn't like in the void or anything it was just from you know casual uh, death by joker but then yeah this was um you know uh it was hilarious once he left the party um but yeah the reason why it's then that became a trend for a long time as all we talked about like it is hashtag joe walks backwards everywhere but um, basically, we decided to end season 4 by going in the end, putting all of our stuff in a chest, and walking backwards. It was incredibly, uh, like, just uh, thinking about the end then, in, in the world tour, uh, they, I just, like, sometimes I feel like crying sometimes. I love these seasons so much. But yeah, the end. This is what I was in charge of this season as RSM, or in other words, Realmcraft <coughs> server management. One person in charge of the overworld, nether, and end, I'm in charge of the end. But yeah, basically, I killed the other dragon 20 times, and with barely any help at all. So I think there was one day, there was like seven left or something, I said, right, anyone want to fly with me? like, nah, not really. And then, uh, eventually, you know, um, I killed them all. I got enough dragon's breath for full stack, and they all said, can we have some dragon's breath? Kind of do, what, hey, what about if I do this? We respawn the dragon, I get dragon's breath, and then I can mine down all the end pillars for you. And I'm like, no chance, you had your chance to get your own dragon's breath, but you said no, so. It was all their fault that they never got any, but. Yeah, so there's obsidian here, obsidian here, if you need obsidian, there's a beacon there. And you can get as much of this as you want, but yeah, I feel it 20 times, as you can see, I put all these gateways. There's nothing else I really did, apart from this, it brings back memories. Um, Season 5, episode 11. We were grinding, also the couple of live streams I did at that time. We grinded out all this uh, to get, um, you know, a little thing which is called grinding for our moon. <laughs> so this is where it all happened, probably the worst part for it to happen, but, you know. So we are going to hop back in, back home. Uh, we're back at spawn, so if I just fly back over here. Uh, and then we're going to go over to our base. And conclude the season with a few things. So first of all, uh, I need to put away all this useless clutter in my inventory. <laughs> yeah, this is what I have to do every single day of the season. Oh, yeah, every single day since I built this thing, organize all my stuff because I don't want a chest monster again, which ha which I indeed have in uh, the next season. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, uh, this is nether related resources. Paper is over there, so it's gonna fill us up with paper. Jerry Kane counts as paper, so the diamond is our profit, so I'll grab that in a minute. But. So then we've got the grass in there, and then stone we'll put in there, and then heads and mini blocks and things that'll go in there, raid items in there, gas tiers that go in the nether related items. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As it. Do I have a separate chest for gas tears? Yeah, I do. I was thinking I'd never seen them before. So then, if I just nip over here, 
but only gas tears and I think it's just dead easy to get with elytra so that's why I have so many so I'll put that in there I've got some wood I can put away a bit of food then that's just an enchanted book which I can put in my book chest which is right there so what I'm gonna do now is get out the whole of my uh you know and the chest get it all out and I'm gonna uh, do whatever with it so we get my white concrete box my terracotta box the mega backup box which is the only thing that I pretty much bought for the whole season 100 diamond it cost me not for sure for arrows this is when I had a mending bow um where, where is my bow actually <laughs> uh, great I've lost my bow um well I've lost my bow so I don't know where that is but yeah basically I got a lot of like all this gear right now I you know I got from a backup box. So then I've got my emerald box, my iron gear box, which is rendering, my diamond gear box, which is once again rendering, a coal and iron box, which is that's actually from mining. That's what I've got. And then this is lapis box, from which I've got a bunch of obsidian in there, leather box, the backup box, which is this is my backup box. So you know, I've got all my backup gear in here. These are actually not backup, these are my first get like. The you know diamond gear of the season, my redstone box, my book box, which is full of random book, random stuff, netherite and diamond box. These are like my personal diamonds, but these aren't you know, uh, like uh, you know, chopped diamonds. My gold box and my ore box. I'm going to be doing some stuff with that <laughs> ice in there again. I'm going to actually, I might put all that into blue ice, you know, just to uh, yeah, save room. In that short box, I should have really had a box for ice. Just because I wasn't really planning on collecting ice, you know. It didn't really make much sense at the time. So, you know. So, I hit explore ice, there we go. And with this mod that I've got on, you can turn ice back into normal ice. So, that is just in case any of you are about to go out and convert your um, not, uh, normal ice into blue ice. Uh, turn these actually can't turn it back. Got a few chalker shells, and then the most valuable thing to me, apart from my wooden tools in the server. This here. And then the eight diamond, diamond mini lock, that's the other funny story. So, uh, yeah, it was back when I had my uh, little, you know, it was kind of like, it, you know, the essential shop, the first edition of it. It was behind uh, the barge, you know, the RSM barge for um, with the previous owner. And in there, you know, I sold essentials like wood, beef, and fireworks. I think they were the three things I was selling. So, you know, it's actually a pretty good trio for essential items. But yeah, from then, um, Jaden bought beef with diamond mini blocks, which were actually pretty valuable to be honest, because they're worth more than a diamond each. Because a diamond block is eight di is nine diamond, as you know, and this gives you eight when you trade with it. So those are the other ones that existed in the whole season, and have got them all. So then, uh, the main thing that I wanted to do is find my ores box. Oh, I am a genius. I got it bang on. But yeah. I'm just going to grab my diamond ore out, and I've got a fortune in the whole thing. I mean, who doesn't like to watch that, eh? Yeah, so let's get up here. And I've got to say, I do really enjoy doing this world tour, because, you know, I miss season 5. I'm in season 6, and I miss season 5 already. So, it's, you know, it's also pretty sad, but also pretty fun. You know, I get to see my, my favourite season. I'm not even sure. Season 5 was season 4. What's my favourite? I don't even know, like I said. But yeah, uh, pretty much whatever season you call it, favourite, not favourite, I'm not sure. But, yeah, this is my favourite. I've forgotten what I was saying. Yeah, but um, basically, favourite season, uh, season 5 or season 4. I have no idea. I generally have no idea. I mean, I have done, the thing is that I've done more like achievements and progress in season 5 I mean, than I've done in season 4. But then season 4 was like, pretty special to me to be honest like you know i just loved it so much so we had a stack in 37 time and door let's see how much. we should get at least three stacks from this shortly yeah i mean uh come on you gotta get three stacks from this if we don't then i will i've got the worst luck in the, on the planet because it's less than double we should really be getting like to be honest i think we should be able to get like four or five stacks from this i mean I i'm hoping at least three stacks if we get three stacks then at least at least decent you know, it might not be the best, but it's decent. Oh, look at that. So, um, I think we've definitely made a profit from this. Of course we made a profit. 
Like, we're pretty much on three stacks now. Yeah, we're on three stacks, but I don't think we'll make it to four. We might do, actually. Okay, we'll make it to four. Let's pick up all these diamonds. Almost. Three and a half. But yeah, that is uh, pretty good, I guess. Three and a half stacks. That is pretty good. So then, yeah, as you can see, I've got some pretty decent things from here. You know, all these uh, diamond stuff, netherite stuff, things like that. But yeah, uh, my shulker shell box, yeah, I've got to go out somewhere else. I forgot where now, but yep, my shulker shells. Uh, there, I've got my anvil and my bed. Stuff I always carry around with me. And that's all that. And then my money and price profits. My favourite things in the world. Starting from just a few little diamonds, you know. Just a few little diamonds that I had at the start of the season. I'm not, I'm not spent a single one apart from the terracotta. That's the only thing I spent it on for this guy's creeper. I mean, you, know, you can't blame it for that, really. You know, it was uh, investments, which you don't think I'm to spend this on. But yeah, this season has been a very fun season, business-wise. I decided money and prices. We didn't do Everest, which was thankful, to be honest. I do all that redstone at the end of the season. Yeah, and to be honest, actually, any seasons, I know I'm the owner of the thing and all that, but it's not really my choice, to be honest. I usually don't have a choice because, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if you're watching this. You probably won't watch this till the end anyway, but a little inside info. I'm not the one who picks turn the season. Then what are. I'm not going to name names, but... Uh, the people on the server, like, um, they pretty much say that, do, do they get everyone to say that they'll, they'll quit the server and not play it if we don't move to a new season, so. Whether or not this is my favourite season, or I'm doing a m middle of a project, I have to move it, because, I mean, what's the point in a SMP with no players, if you get what I mean. So, basically, that's how season 4 ended, I forgot about season 3, but yeah, this is also how season 5 ended, it's not my decision. But yeah, I'm not going to blame people, but they will probably, if you've watched this far, start complaining in the comments. Look out for them in the comments, by the way. But, yeah, so this won't be out until a few days after, uh, you know, after today. Today's the 11th, by the way. And then, of course, I've got to upload episode 17, then I'll upload this a few days after. And then, upload episode 1 of season 6, which is already recorded, I just need to wait to upload it. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'm going to end the season by putting all my stuff into a double chest, which uh, you can then get and get all my stuff, because if you need me, I'm going to be in season 6, and all of my belongings will be in a chest, and um, right here in this storage room. So yeah, I'm going to put this uh, on a download on my uh, website. I'll leave a link to that website in the description, it's on there, the latest post on there will be my... It will be the world download for this, but yeah. Thanks for watching the whole of. Oh, great. <laughs> Thanks for watching the whole of season 5. Um, if you've watched it from the start, then. Uh, thank you for a start. Um, and if you've watched in season 2, then you're just an OG. I, I can't thank the people enough who watched it since season 2. Because that is just insane if you have. Uh, I know I wouldn't be able to put up with listening to my own voice for that amount of time oh this isn't mine this is my oh that, this is my uh this is a member of the server's little choker box so this is their choker box i'm good but the, it's the end of the season anyway so you know it's there so i'll leave it out there so what i'm gonna do with all this loot now is i'm gonna put it all away you know and then so this is gonna go into mine actually i'm not gonna put, yeah i'll put them in there and they're just some of this stuff which I'm just gonna uh, put away. So, like for example, this sand in here. Perfect way to end the season. Me just sorted a lot of the chunk. I'm sure you don't want to see this, but yeah, I'm not even sure what else to say. I'm just sorting items out here. So it's pretty boring, if I'm honest. This has got to be the most boring task ever to be invented. Um, but I'm not even sure. <laughs> And we're going to end up repeating the same things over and over again. Thanks for watching. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching season 5. Uh, I hope you enjoyed season 5 as much as I did. And um, I hope you're ready to enjoy season 6 because I really need someone to put me up to season 6 because I've uh, got to admit, uh, until I get these villages all done, 
it is not uh, my favourite season so far. I definitely say season five or four, but you know what? I was thinking about that with season five, so then hopefully it might, you know, start to work out eventually. But with the chest that I can just grab from here, I'm going to go out and I'm going to put all my stuff into a chest. And I'll see you in the next season. So yeah. See ya.